Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So every year as I move forward within my own kind of photography journey, I feel like I'm always trying to seek out new products, techniques, and also just different photography genres. And I really do feel like 2023 was my studio photography era. And I know that for a fact because I do see the comments about me never going outside to shoot anymore, but I just definitely kind of ebb and flow within what I'm interested in, and recently that has been studio photography. And I feel like I'm really interested in it right now because I felt so intimidated by it, especially when I was starting out. And while I definitely have a long way to go, I'm you know pretty proud of where my photography has gone and that I kind of feel a little bit more comfortable shooting around the studio now. And with myself doing more studio shoots, that also comes me seeking out new products in different lights. So today I really want to talk about my favorite product of 2023 and that is the Nanlite Forza 300B2. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you've seen me shooting with this light and I've shot all of these photos with it as well. Not only is it an absolute powerhouse of a light, but it's also really compact and lightweight. I live in New York City and so I'm here just always renting out different studios. I love to kind of change it up and most of these are always up multiple flights of stairs and so this is one light that I'm always bringing with me because it doesn't break my back. The headpiece only weighs 6.3 pounds, so I always just am able to set this light up by myself. I can also be in full control of this light, whether I want it to be more cooler toned or warmer toned. It also allows you the ability to change the tint, so if you wanna make the overall scene more green or magenta toned, you can absolutely do that. And the more power and control I'm able to have over my lights, the less I have to do in post-production because I've kind of arranged and set up the lighting exactly how I want it to look, which is everything I'm looking for. This light is also compatible with Bowen's mount accessories, which is very convenient for me because all of my accessories happen to be Bowen's mount. And so all of these different modifiers like reflectors and soft boxes, projector attachments, lanterns, all of those, I can just seamlessly click these on to my light and we're good to go. I actually have it on right now, lighting me from the left side here. I have Nanlite soft box on also with a grid and just the combination of the Forza 300B2 with these different modifiers not only can allow you to increase the output of your light but also just project different patterns and shapes and allows you to be more creative and again more in control of what you're shooting and if you're someone who likes to control your lights from your phone you can also download the Nanlink app and you can be in full control of the light that way which is really cool and because I know you're gonna be wanting this light I'll be leaving a link in the description down below for you guys to check it out but now I really really want to get into a whole shoot that I did with this light and I'm going to be giving you a whole breakdown of where my lights were and how I got the final shot or shots. I took a lot of photos this day. So this shoot was with my new friend Berta and she is not only a model but she also creative directs and styles. So on this day I arrived to the studio. Berta was getting her hair and makeup done by my favorite hair and makeup artist here in the city of Genia who I work with a ton and I started setting up all my lights. I requested a few different colored backdrops for this shoot, but I started out with a yellow backdrop. And I made this little diagram to help us better kind of understand what I was doing and thinking and setting up here today on this shoot. So we obviously have this yellow backdrop right in front. I also have these two RGB panel lights and I set them to this sort of reddish orange color and set them up at two different heights. And what this can do when it's a different color than the backdrop and at these two different heights is create a really nice sort of gradient. In front of those are these two V flats and this just makes sure that some of that color doesn't spill onto the model because I wanted to really separate her from the backdrop which I actually end up changing later on but they're super helpful to have if you really want to make that clear distinction between the subject and the background. And then the model's main light source of course was this Forza 300B2 with a projector attachment on it. I also had this additional light that I had a reflector on and I just kind of feathered this off to the side of the model because I wanted to use it as a sort of fill light when she felt a little too silhouetted so I just kind of brought it in and adjusted it throughout the shoot. I like to approach my lighting setup where I'm kind of separating the backdrop and the main focal point, the model here, as two different kind of subjects in their own. So just taking the time to really figure out exactly what I want to do for each of those. Do you want the backdrop to be really soft and toned down? And then like I kind of had here, I had the model with this really super dramatic hard light source onto her and I really liked the distinction here. Perfect. Great. 
looks really good. Just a, a little bit. Yeah, right there. The more light. Yeah, you got it. Love that. Great. Love that. I'm gonna have this light a little bit more to too. Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Love that. That's really sick. Love that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Can you tilt a little bit more uh, other way? Yeah, I just want some of that red and like a little step back. You can like bring your arm in a little bit. Yeah, like that. That's like, yeah. Was my shoot with the Nanlite Forza 300 B2. And a huge thank you to Nanlite for working with me on this video. Once again, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes, the lighting breakdown, and the final photos as well. With all of that, I will see you guys very soon.